You're looking at the three-time Tri-State Over-14 Thou Art Dead champion. His name is Reginald Skolinski, but they call him Skull. Who's they? Me and DJ. Yeah. He's the smartest guy on earth. So let's go talk to him. Hey, hey Jenny, 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 hold on. Whoa. Hold up. Skull is in the game zone right now, and you don't want to mess with him when he's in the game zone. Fine, so how long is he going to be playing? <sighs> Who knows? He once played for four days straight on one quarter, a gallon of chocolate milk, and an adult diaper. The man's a legend. Mm -hmm. Well, if he's not coming out of the game zone, then we are going in. What? Uh, what? Jenny! What you, Jenny! What are you gonna do? Like, You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? I just chopped off your head again. Your head's rolling. You can't even see it because your eyes are on your head. Sir? What? I'm busy playing a video game without even looking at the screen. What? Okay, old man Evercarter's house is possessed, and I need to know how to destroy it before it comes out and tries to kill Calm me. Calm down. You make me want to throw up in some tinfoil and eat it. Oh, you like the steel of my blade? It's so cold. <sighs> Possessed house, you say? Hmm. In my travels to the video store and comic book conventions, I've seen many strange and wondrous things. And I've heard tell of man-made structures becoming possessed by a human soul, so that the spirit becomes merged with wood and brick, creating a rare form of monster known as Domus Mectipolis. The house is Mr. Nevercracker. Who wants to murder his enemies? Have fun getting killed. Run, coward! Ow. Look at that blood. So, how do we kill it? You've got to strike at the source of life. The heart. But houses don't have hearts. Yes! Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. You might be right about that. Oh. Sorry, children, but I've got some very, very important business to take care of. I won't be seeing you later. What is that? You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Come out to socialize. Doom, 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 doom,
windows creak and the tombstones quake. Spooks come up or swing in wake. Guys, Happy excuse me, sorry to bother you. And begin I was to wondering if you didn't know where the mausoleum was. Down by the old mill stream, where I first met oh, I don't, don't know. I think they, they said it was an old oak. That's what they said. It's by the, um... By the light. By the light. By the light of the silvery moon. Of the silvery God, moon. Yeah, look, you sound I really good. Your harmony's you. tight, but we're trying to find my wife. Right? I gotta help my wife. Uh, she'll be coming, coming round the mountain when she comes. comes. When she comes. She'll be coming, coming round the mountain I, when I, she listen, comes. Listen, guys, I'm, I'm trying to find a key. I'm trying to find a key. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the beautiful key? Find the key. Find the key. Oh, how happy you'll be. Uh, the key that I'm trying to find is, is in the mausoleum. The key is in the mausoleum. You left your key in a mausoleum down in Dixie. Dad, there oh, it is. Thanks. Dad, there it is. They're dead, they're ghosts. No, I mean, they're gone. Split out of here. Afterlife kids. Deceased. Are you a ghost, too? I'm the ghost with the most, babe. You know, you look like somebody I can relate to. Maybe you could, maybe you could help me get out of here, you know, because I got to tell you, this, uh, this death thing is... It's just too creepy. See, here's my problem. I got these friends on the outside that I said I'd meet, you know, and that's the kind of thing I have to be there in person, you know. So I was just wondering, could you help me get out of here? I don't want to get in. Why? Well, well, you know, hey, you probably got your reasons, uh, but the thing is, I can't do anything from over here. If you could get me out over there, then maybe we could talk or something. But, you know, in order to do that, you got to say my name three times. What's your name? Well, uh, I can't tell you. Why not? You know why? Because if I tell you, you tell your friends. Your friends are calling me on the horn all the time. I gotta show up at shopping centers for openings and sign autographs, shit like that, and that makes my life a hell, okay? A living hell. But maybe do you have a pen? Maybe we can... Oh, I know. You can play charades. Yeah. Ah, good, good. Ah, here we go then. Ready? Um, two words. Right. Ah. Uh, first word, two syllables. You know, just turn. No. I don't know what your signal means. Turn around and look behind you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> a beetle. God, okay. Now, two, take one. Uh, uh, breakfast, orange, orange beetle, uh, beetle fruit. Beetle breakfast? Uh, beetle drink? Beetle, uh, uh, beetle juice? Yes, that's it! Name's Beetlejuice? Ah, you said it twice, just say it once more, come on. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Me? The snake. No, what snake, you kids, in your imagination? Just say it! Uh, I want to talk to Barbara. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Max, I'm not kidding this time. It's time to go. Max, no! Uh oh. <laughs>
What happened? A virgin lit the candle. <laughs> I try to sleep, I can't 